Scroll bars, navigation, and long card list. Hey, David. I have a card list view that contains between 300 to 600 entries. That's a lot. Manual scrolling is therefore not an option. Right, I would have agreed. On mobile, the scroll bars are visible, but very hard to hit. There is also an ellipsis menu button very close by that is often hit by the user. How can a user quickly navigate around this long list efficiently within AppSheet? Thanks. Well, the, uh, the answer lies in developing a different view. So uh, by the sound of it, it looks like you've just got like a, you've just created a basic card view. Um, so the thing you might try to do that uh, first is uh, maybe try some grouping. So um, with grouping, if you add multiple levels of grouping, so it's not just like group by client, uh, or group by category. Um, if you do things where it's like group by client, then by category, uh, what you end up with is a drill down style menu to where whatever the top grouping is, you'll see uh, a unique list in like a table style view of just those. So then, you know, if you did client and then um, category, then you would have, so if you did client and then category, you'd have a list of all the clients first, you'd click on a client, and then it would show you all of those records for that client grouped by the category. So you can include any number of these groupings that you want to do like that uh, to allow you to create these drill down style menus. That's one way that you can create a, a, a different interface. Um, this way, and that one doesn't require a whole lot of overhead developer wise. Another thing you might try is if you turn on the preview program, uh, inside the search bar, there is a, a filter feature that's up there. And so that would give you the ability to apply an advanced search through all of those lists uh, to, to find a, a better way, an easier way of narrowing that list down. Now, ultimately, though, realistically, whenever I'm talk, whenever I'm dealing with clients and I'm helping them uh, at at a point in their app of something like this, generally, what's happening is there's a lack of support tables. Uh, so, support tables are just tables that hold maybe just a couple of records inside of them. Uh, nobody's writing data to them. Maybe the admins have, you know, they have full access, but nobody's really. All they serve is as support. So um, inside, you know, inside your dropdowns, maybe your dropdowns are referenced over to that. And the point of doing this is that when you, when you create a reference like that to another table that's like a supporting table that say it just contains a list of all the categories. So maybe you only have five categories. So there's only five records in the table and maybe there's only one column category and that's it. That's your table, it's one column, five records. But what you do is you include that in your app and then all of your other records that have a category column, you say the category is a reference to the category table. And so now what that's gonna do is that you can give people the ability to start by looking at the category table first. And when they click on one of the detail records, you'll get an inline view of all of the corresponding whatever records that match that category. And so it gives you this different way of working with your data, um, but it requires some change in the data structure. Anyways, those are just a couple of ways that you could address this, this situation. Let me know if it helps. Hey, I just wanted to say thanks for watching the video. Make sure you give it a like and a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. It really helps the channel with all the algorithm stuff that's going on I'm trying to build. Also, if you really want to show your love, you can head on over to patreon.com slash multitech. There's some goodies over there. It's 10 bucks a month. I got a lot of good stuff going on over there.